In this video, we're going to learn about the sum of the interior, interior angles of polygons. So not just triangles, but any polygon. What is the sum of the interior angles? So the interior angles are these guys. So if I start with a triangle, so here I have a triangle, and I measured the angles. I measured each one of the three angles. And we already know that when we add up the angles in a triangle, we get, well, let's do it. So we get this angle plus this one plus this one and we get 180 degrees we already knew that so the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees and, and it doesn't matter what kind of triangle I can change the angles around and the sum you see is still 180 still 180 but what happens if I have a quadrilateral so here I have drawn a quadrilateral and I measured all the angles. Now you can pretend, you can imagine that this is a rectangle, so all the angles would be would be 90 degrees. So if you just remember that, then what, what do you think the sum of all of these angles would be? Well, let's calculate it. So measure the angles. This one plus this one plus this one plus this one equals it's 360 so the sum of the angles in a in a quadrilateral is 360 now I can I can change the angles and the sum still 360 I can make it any quadrilateral so you see as, as this one gets this angle gets smaller then this, this one gets bigger so the sum stays the same so any quadrilateral the sum will always be 360 now here's a way of looking at it. Let's remember the triangle. The sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. So what I can do here is break it up into triangles. So let's pick a vertex. I can pick any vertex I want. Let's, let's pick this one over here. And from this vertex, I'm going to draw a line to every other vertex. So here I already have it. I already have this one. So the only other one I could draw is over here. So when I do that, I have two triangles. I have two triangles. And the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. The sum of the angles in this triangle is 180. So 180 plus 180 is 360. Let's, let's put this on a chart. So let's look at this chart. So if we have a triangle that has three sides, and there's only one triangle inside a triangle, that's 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. That's something we all know. Now a quadrilateral, if you go back and look here, in a quadrilateral, you have two triangles. Two triangles. So it has four sides, but two triangles. I can break it up into two triangles. So each triangle is 180. So 2 times 180 is 360. 2 times 180 is 360. So each triangle that's inside the figure is going to add up to 180. So for a quadrilateral, I have two triangles. So it's 2 times 180. Let's try a pentagon. So here I've drawn a pentagon and I've measured all the angles. Now it's not a regular pentagon. It doesn't matter. So let's calculate. Let's add up all the angles and what should we get? Well, first let's, let's draw some lines here. Let's, let's see if we can do draw the lines to each vertex like this and like this so how many triangles do i have inside this pentagon how many triangles do i have i have one two three so it should be 180 for this one 180 for this one and 180 for this one so it, so it should be three times 180 which is 540. let's see if that actually works so let's measure calculate so i'm going to add up all these angles this one plus this one plus this one plus this one plus this one and it's 540 you see it's 540 180 plus 180 plus 180 let's go back to the chart and add that in there so here i'm going to write pentagon so in a pentagon you have five sides make up a pentagon and we can make three triangles inside the pentagon so that's three times 180 so 3 times 180 is 540. Now let's do one more and then I'll have you fit, fill out the rest of the chart and then we'll come up with a rule. So let's look at this 
octagon. Here I have eight sides. So I have eight sides. That means I can make one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. And each one of these triangles has a sum of 180. So if it has eight sides, I can make six triangles. So that's six times 180. So the sum should be six times 180. So let's figure that out. So when adding up all the sides, we get 1080, which is 6 times 180. I can show you on the calculator. So it's 6 times 180. 6 times 180, because there are 6 triangles inside the octagon. So that's the sum of the interior angles. If you add up all these angles, they add up to 1080. For a triangle, they add it up to 180. Quadrilateral, they add up to 360. So let's add that to our chart. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sides. So, so far we have triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, octagon. So let's go back to the octagon for a second. It has An octagon has 8 sides. So I can make 6 triangles on the inside. So 6 times 180 is 1080, 1080 degrees. Now pause the video and figure out each one of these, a hexagon, heptagon, decagon, and dodecagon. How many sides does each one have? How many triangles on the inside can we make? And then what is the sum of the interior angles? So pause the video, try it out yourself, and then we'll write the answers. So here we have filled out the chart. So we should notice something. Let's try and figure out a rule. So if we have the number of sides, then the number of triangles is always going to be how many less how many how many try if I have ten sides I can have eight interior triangles if I have six sides it's four so you should notice that the number of triangles inside a polygon is always two less than the number of sides so what do we do with this number of triangles well each triangle is 180 so we multiply that by 180 so one times 180 or two times 180 or three times 180 so that is our rule. Our rule is going to be n is the number of sides. So if n is the number of sides, then the sum of the interior angles will be the number of sides, not number, but number of sides, minus 2, number of sides, minus 2 times 180 degrees. So this formula works for any polygon. So if I have a 10-sided poly, uh, 10 polygon, a decagon, then it's 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 times 180. If I have a 12-sided polygon, then 12 minus 2 is 10. So it's 10 times 180. Remember, work on the brackets first, and then multiply by 180. So if you know how many sides, the number of sides of any polygon, all you have to do is subtract the number of sides by 2, and then that number gets multiplied by 180. So for example, if you have an 18-sided an figure, if you have an 18-sided figure, that means that the sum of the interior angles will be 18 minus 2, 16 times 180. The sum of the interior angles of an 18-sided figure would be 2,880.